I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a little experiment for me. I'm going to tell a little parable. Once upon a time, there's a colony of ants. And one ant in the colony was a philosopher. And he came up with an idea that God was an ant, and they just hadn't found him yet. And he created an ant-shaped mask and said, when one of you thinks you've found God, and you can see something that might fit this mask, because that truly is how you know you've found God. It looks like an ant. Run and get me. I'll put the mask on it, and we'll see if that's God. Okay, so the ants go about their business, you know, waving their feelers and scanning for food and digging. And once, every so often, there's a quick mutter about some stuff. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit. You know, the mask doesn't quite fit on it. One day, one ant comes in frantically to the philosopher, grabs him from where he is, picks him up over his head, which is not hard to do for an ant. They're very strong for their size. Um, runs down with him, realizes the mask is back there, runs back, grabs the mask, gives it to the philosopher ant and says, put the mask on it, put the mask on it. What? This rock over here? Okay, put the mask on it. It fits. And the philosopher declares that he has found God. And all the ants take a bit out of their time every day to worship this rock. One ant says, this rock is part of the ground. And the ground is part of a planet, and the planet is part of a solar system. And how do we know there aren't other things in the solar system or the universe, um, which is about as far as I can see, um, that wouldn't fit it better? And how do we know that this rock is responding to our prayers or our venerations or any like th anything like that? And though he was kicked out of the colony and had to find find work uh, working uh, working as a data miner uh, later on for a corporation, that ant was the first ever ant gnostic.